The Power of Sleeping on Decisions Have you ever felt stuck when making a tough decision? One useful fact in life that might surprise you is the power of sleeping on it. When you're faced with a difficult choice, instead of trying to decide quickly, if you allow yourself to sleep on it, your brain works on the problem while you're asleep. Studies have shown that during sleep, especially during the rapid eye movement REM stage, the brain reorganizes and consolidates memories, processes information, and problem solves. This is why you might go to bed with a problem and wake up with a clearer idea of what to do, or even with a solution. By giving yourself time to rest, you're actually allowing your brain to work through the complexities of your decision without the pressure of immediate consequences. It's a simple yet powerful life hack that can lead to better decision-making and less stress. So next time you're facing a big decision, remember that a good night's sleep could be your best advisor. Did you know Suriname speaks a hidden language? Suriname is a tiny country in South America, but it has a unique treasure often unheard of. In this small nation, there's a special language called Tongo. What's interesting is that it's a Creole language, which means it started long ago when people from different places came together and mixed their languages. So in Tongo, you can hear bits of English, Dutch, African languages, and even a splash of other languages. It's like a secret code created from a blend of cultures. And the best part? It's become a link that connects all the different people in Suriname, no matter where they originally came from. Now, isn't that a cool way to unite a country? Could you imagine a dance-off with birds? This Brazilian marvel will amaze you. Deep in the heart of Brazil's Atlantic forest, there's an extraordinary spectacle that nature keeps hidden. It's a stage set by evolution itself, where male mannequin birds perform a real-life dance-off to win over the females. These aren't just simple two-step dances. We're talking about a flurry of swift, vibrant moves that would outshine the best of our human dance battles. The red-capped mannequin, with its striking red head, is particularly famous for a move that mirrors the moonwalk, sliding backwards on a branch with unbelievable grace. Researchers believe these high-energy performances are not just for show, they're a critical element of the bird's mating rituals. What's even more interesting is that each species of mannequin has evolved to perform its own unique dance moves. So the next time you're feeling confident in your dance skills, remember that somewhere in the Brazilian forest, there's a feathered dancer that could potentially outshine you on the dance floor. Did you know a scientist once tried to create a second moon? In the 19th century, before space exploration was anywhere near what it is today, a scientist named Dr. Gorg Waltemath claimed he had discovered a system of tiny moons orbiting Earth. His most astonishing claim, however, was that he could create a second moon, one that would be visible to the naked eye. Dr. Waldemath was convinced that by using a specific arrangement of mirrors in space, he could reflect sunlight and illuminate the night as if there was a second, smaller moon shining alongside our actual moon. He convinced a handful of investors to fund his project, and in 1890, he claimed his artificial moon was successfully launched and could be seen from certain parts of the world. Of course, this was met with much skepticism, and in time, his claims were debunked and forgotten. Yet the boldness of his vision remains a curious footnote in the history of astronomical science that not many people know about. Did you know bananas could do this? Imagine peeling your favorite fruit, a banana. You're maybe thinking about its sweet taste or how healthy it is. We all know bananas are rich in potassium and great for a quick snack. But there's a remarkable fact about bananas that might just blow your mind. Ready? Bananas are naturally radioactive. Yep, that's right. In the world of fruit, bananas stand out not just for their taste, but because they contain a small amount of potassium-40, a radioactive isotope of potassium. Now before you panic, you should know it's a very tiny amount, not nearly enough to harm you. Each banana emits about 14 decays per minute as the potassium-40 in them breaks down. And there's even a playful unit of radiation exposure named after them, the banana equivalent dose. This measures how much radiation you're exposed to by eating one banana. So next time you're enjoying this yellow snack, remember, 
You're also nibbling on a piece of natural science trivia. Now who knew your kitchen could be a little science lab? Did you know an emperor loved ice cream? Long before ice cream shops and freezers, there was a Roman emperor named Nero who was crazy about this frozen treat. Now, we all know that back in ancient Rome, they didn't have electricity or modern machines. So how did Nero get his ice cream-like dessert? Well, he sent his fastest runners into the mountains to bring back fresh snow. Then, his chefs mixed the snow with fruits and honey to create a sweet, chilled delicacy that Nero would enjoy. It was a luxury only the very rich and powerful could have, because getting snow from the mountains was not easy. Imagine having people run up a mountain just so you could have a dessert. That's how much Nero loved his frozen treats. This historical fact might be unknown to many, but it shows how people have loved ice cream for much longer than we might think. Today, we can just open our freezers or go to the store, but back then, it was an adventure to have such a cold, sweet luxury. Did Abraham Lincoln have a mysterious hobby? Picture Abraham Lincoln, tall hat, serious face, and the weight of a nation on his shoulders. But what if I told you there's a Lincoln story that's barely made it into the history books? Yes, the man who led the United States through its civil war and abolished slavery had a curious pastime. Lincoln was an avid cryptographer. He wasn't just crafting the Gettysburg address, he was also dabbling in the art of creating and solving ciphers. In times of war, Lincoln recognized the importance of secure communication and spent many nights obsessing over codes and secret messages. It was a mental exercise for him, a way to keep his mind sharp amidst the turmoil of his presidency. This lesser-known skill of Lincoln's wasn't just a hobby, some say it was instrumental in the Union's espionage efforts, and it helped shape critical wartime strategies. So, the next time you think of Honest Abe, remember, he might have just been as secretive as he was sincere. Has one of the world's most isolated libraries been discovered in the clouds? Nestled within the mighty Himalayas of Nepal lies a treasured sanctuary of knowledge that few know exists. The Tengbochi Monastery isn't just a place of solace and spirituality. It houses an incredible library. Picture this, amidst the backdrop of Everest, behind the monastery's age-old walls, there are shelves lined with ancient Tibetan manuscripts. Some say these texts are as old as the mountains themselves. This high-altitude repository isn't easy to reach, but those who trek there find a collection of wisdom that has withstood time's test. Each scroll, each page, is a silent witness to history. And it's not just the books that tell a story. The library's own existence is a tale of human resilience and the quest for enlightenment perched at the top of the world. Could it be the most isolated library on the planet? What's invisible but saves lives? Let's talk about something you can't see, but it's all around us, protecting us every day. It's thinner than paper, but more protective than the toughest steel. Intrigued? I'm talking about an invisible shield that's way up in the sky, Earth's ozone layer. Now, before your eyes glaze over, hear this out. The ozone layer is like Earth's superhero, battling the harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun. Without this shield, we'd be more like toast, getting burned by UV rays that can cause sunburn and even skin cancer. But the ozone layer soaks up most of this radiation, keeping us safe. And here's a quirky twist. It's the same UV light that gives us vitamin D. So this invisible hero not only helps to protect our lives, but also to improve our health. And think about it, when was the last time you thanked the sky for not having sunburn? So next time you step outside and you don't sizzle, remember to give a little nod to our high-flying, life-saving, invisible champion. Unlock your inner strength with a smile. Power of positivity revealed. Feeling low on motivation? Let's turn that frown upside down with a cool science back trick. Did you know that the simple act of smiling can send a message to your brain that you're happy? That's right, even if you're faking it, your brain releases feel-good neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin. These chemicals can reduce stress and make you feel more positive and energized. It's like having a superpower right on your face. Next time you need a little boost, just try smiling and watch how it can transform your mood and motivation levels. Did you know anything about this story?